Hi my beautiful Virgo, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Light, Tell of Vanilla Jane. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are with returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is from my lovely Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe, Universal Energies, Ancestors, Spirit Guide, Archangels, Ascended Masters. Please give my lovely Virgo a clear, precise, honest message for the highest good of our Virgo. If you are new to my channel, please be happy to hit the like the subscribe button, the notification bell below. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting my channel. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm sending lots of love, new beginning, and prosperity your way. Energies are fluids. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it's not resonant, please check out your other web chat placement for more clarity. Check what resonates and leave the rest. So, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you in your love life. Oh my goodness, one more day. Marco will be going direct. Oh my God, freedom. <laughs> soulmate, your soulmate love, accept, and respect you unconditional. So, there's a soulmate that's coming towards you, Virgo. This is beautiful. Okay. What do you have for Virgo spirit? So that's a soulmate. Your soulmate is coming. Because nobody even having this kind of oh, obsession. <laughs> so you have obsession, Virgo. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thought. So maybe you have some body that is obsessed with you, Virgo. Or you are obsessed with someone. What else do you have for Virgo? acceptance we have everything's happened for a reason you know what i'm getting here virgo just accept this this accept this ending this accept this whatever this is for you so if it's for you right i'm getting here take it as it resonate because it's said here obsession and acceptance so it's look like for some of you you need to accept something is over something is done it's dead it's like literally six feet under give me two cards for the person Virgo is dealing with but you have a soulmate coming you and now your true love is already part of your life so you might be dealing you might be dealing with someone you might be currently dealing with someone but this is this person is your true love but you might not even see that because for some of you you might be focused on the past abundance you have done the work abundance flow to you now yes this is beautiful so whomever this person you are dealing with virgo i feel like you need to free yourself from this person intuition you already know the answer you seek Give me one card for Virgo. Ooh, Virgo, this is this person is not the one. I'm keeping this in a reverse for you. That way you can accept the fact that this, this relationship is done. Give me one card for the person Virgo is dealing with. So this might be someone that is in your energy. That does not mean you're in a relationship with this. You know, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm being honest with you. This person is not the one. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like this person, someone here you're dealing with, they might have some type of codependent, codependent issues or you. Spirit, show me uh, who's coming towards Virgo. Nine of Swords. Who's coming towards Virgo? Mm -mm. This person drinks a lot. They, this person, they drinks a lot. They're having a lot of sleepless night. They're very stressed. The only way this person can sleep is by drinking. The only way they can do anything is by entertaining other people. Like I said, someone in here has got a lot of addictions going on, Virgo. So you don't need to be dealing with this person. 
This is not the one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Show me this person calling energy. Seven of Wands. Show me this person calling energy. Six of Wands. Show me this person calling energy. Nine of Wands. Someone in here, they have, they, it could be a fire sign that's coming towards you. Someone in here, they get a lot of attention. They, but what I'm getting here, this person is black from you, Virgo. Their current energy is in the seven of wands. Someone in here might have to defend themselves against a lot of people. If they are not, uh, if they are not defending themselves against a lot of people, it's just they are protected their energy spiritually also they might be protected spiritually protected themselves spiritually they're very guarded but they do get a lot of attentions nine of wands and this person is this someone in here is just protected what they will protected themselves even if they do getting a lot of attention there might be a lot of people that give this person attention but it's kind of like unbeknownst to them that's what i'm getting what is this person want Virgo to know? King of Wands. Someone might be very attracted to you. A boss, a leader. Clarify the king. Oh, I mean, not clarify, but give me uh, what is this person want Virgo to know? Someone that this person staying in the park could be a Leo. What they want you to know is that they're staying in the ground as a boss, as a leader, someone that's, you know, they like very mature, you know, um, they like to mentoring others, they like to help other people, but they also feel some type of brokenness. What is this person want Virgo to know? Yeah, something about the past, they're broken, they felt broken regarding something about the past here. Let's see this person's intentions towards you, Virgo. They're coming towards you with transformation. What is this person's intentions towards Virgo? The hangman. They're coming towards you to give you some type of clarity. What is this person's intentions towards Virgo? Queen of Cups. One thing here that I'm getting here, someone is definitely, this person loves you. It doesn't have to be a woman here. It could be anybody, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone want to give you uh, some type of enlightenment. They might be waiting in limbo, but they want change. They want transformation with you. The only thing that I'm getting here, someone here might be a huge drinker. They like to entertain themselves. They like, this person could be, um, um, over indulgence they could be selfish very selfish here but they're having a lot of anxiety a lot of sleepless night here but i'm getting this person is they loves you someone in here want to let you know that they're using their intuition they could this person could also be you know um protected their feelings also let's their actions so what is the actions towards you yeah two of cups to give and receiving love with you so they might be coming with a little bit of baggage. <laughs> That's all I'm getting here. So if this person get a lot of attention, they come in with baggage. So let's see the actions towards you, Virgo. Wow. This is a beautiful love offer here. But they have they, they are working on something from the past. They it's like this person need to let go of the past. They need to uh, release whatever that happened in their past. Give me one card, please, for um, this person's actions towards Virgo. Secrets. Someone in here might be a secret admirer. The moon. We have two of pentacles. Let's do some clarification for you. I want to clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, please, for this person, Virgo. It's coming towards Virgo. 
We have three of pentacles in the reverse. We're going to leave it in the reverse. I feel like someone in here, they could have been like, this person could be like kind of like a workaholic, you know, kind of type of sometimes they talk too much also. That's what I'm, what is the three of pentacles in the reverse? Nine of pentacles, yeah. Someone in here is kind of obsessed with commitment also. They, they like obsessed with stability want to become you know whatever this is they want to be um they want to have stability they want to have the long-term commitment that's you know the devil here three of pentacles you know this is nothing major here which is let's clarify the nine of cups Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone in here could be like to overindulge. But what I'm getting here is that whatever they whatever this person do, um, with the devil here also someone could be could be in the occult. So that does not make them toxic. They just um they're in the occult. If you know what I mean. Not not in a toxic way because I'm not getting any toxic with the nine of cups here. This person is you know they have their wish fulfilled but when it's come with the devil it's coming like they it kind of look like this person is over indulging but they have uh, no opportunity so this person love to work clarify the ace of wands that's what i'm getting yeah they have over uh, over indulge about you know in the past that's in the past but over indulge Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, yes, they do overindulge in the past. That's all I'm getting. What is the King of Wands here, please? King of Wands is whomever this person here, they have options. What is the Queen of Cups? This sign. Can surpass the Scorpio. Something come, uh, something come to illuminate it. Something is come to clarity. I feel like someone in here want to give you some type of clarity, Virgo. That's what I'm getting here. This person using for their intuition. Something is illuminated. They got some type of clarity here when it's come to whatever this is. Clarify the sun, please, for this person. Yeah. But maybe they talk, like I say, maybe they, they, maybe they talk too much. Maybe they say, maybe they talk to people too quickly. Maybe they open up to people too, too easily with the page of ones. Yeah, they get some type of clarity about that. Now nah, it's better if now nah, they're using their intuition. But I feel like this person wants to making you a beautiful love offer here. That will last, that will lead to commitment. Clarify the moon. So one thing you might not know about this person, they do get a lot of attention. Maybe they are in the public eye. They, this person might be an influencer somewhere. They they in the public eye. They do something here. They get a lot of attention from. So and they they might be this. If this person is a secret admirer, they're gonna keep that from you before they before they tell you i don't know why they're gonna keep that from you but they are so yeah secretly they get a lot of attention they are protected spiritually though let's clarify the uh, five of pentacles So this person is not, you know, someone in here, Virgo, they're behaving like they, you know. They're not broken. They're not broke. They have a financial, they have someone in here get a gift from the universe, financially gift from the universe. This is a huge gift from the universe. That's what I'm getting here. No money, no no job, no opportunity, something, a huge blessing this person get from the universe. That's probably, you know, that 
make them being broken. But it's the Ace of Pentacles. And I, I feel like that could have been um, exposed because this person gets some type of money here. So this is, you know how you like, okay, someone is like, okay, um, before before school, they're broke, you know what I'm saying? They're like, okay, I only got $5 to my name. And then all of a the sudden, the universe giving them some, some type of um, gift. And then it's like, boom. Someone wants to expose this person. They were exposed here for getting some type of money. But it's a five of swords in the reverse. King of swords. A hater. <laughs> a hater exposed this person. Some money here. A hater exposed this person, Virgo, for getting some type of money. What I'm getting is a gift from the universe, not from, you know, man. So what is the nine of swords? Why is this person is in their head? Nine of cups. This person is gonna end their head about an offer. Clarify the nine of cups about an offer. Go on a date, go on to um, receiving an offer here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, six of pentacles. Like someone could have been offered this person, you know, like, can we go out? Can we go somewhere here? They are definitely in the head about this offer. So if you try to spend time with this person, you might be having, you're going to have to try a little bit harder. We have everything is fine. But this is the ten of swords that say everything is fine. It, if that's mean this happened in the past. So they have some type of betrayal and the past does make them very cautious, does make them very worried from taking no offer. But I feel like this person secretly, they are, if this person is a secret admirer, they do want to give you attention, they want to make you an offer that will lead to commitment. So Virgo, that's all I have for you. Page of Swords, this person might have a lot of people watching them. Page of Swords is, you know like a spy someone that do research someone that you know they you know follow people they do you know they do the petty work you know petty work other people don't want to do here and because of that you know someone in here is persevere they're, they are they are being strong they are being you know they feel like you know there's people that hold them back but i feel like they are working with this so because i feel like it has something to do with whatever they got going on Let's see advice for you, Virgo. What is the advice you have for Virgo? Yes, a beautiful friendship and union is coming for you. But yeah, they come in with baggage, Virgo. But I feel like this person is a good person. Because they, you know, <laughs> the only thing we have here is a hater. We have... We have someone that is nurturing and caring. Like I say, someone that is trust too easily. Page of one, trust very easily. This person, you know, with this son here, they might be, they have, might have a very childlike energy. So they're like, you know, they're easily to trust people and they realize that about them. That's what the card said. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Bye, Virgo.